Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again, once again. So in this episode here, I'm just gonna show you why I decided I could cut a hole in the front of my um, CNC machine here. Normally we have a spoiler board. Uh, I cut a hole in here. Uh, cut it 18 inches by, oh, I think I cut it two inches wide, right between the two rails here. Um, the reason I cut that hole is because I was making some um, name plates and in the top here, the name plates are about three inches high and in the top here I wanted to cut in a card holder. Well, with the only amount of travel that you have with the three inches, at least three, three and a half inches, by the time you put this on the board and by the time you get you at least one inch of depth of bit, you don't have enough Z to raise it up to, um, be able to drill a hole so this gives me the opportunity to drop and i'll probably end up even cutting the hole in my table here eventually too probably um this gives me ability to if i want to engrave something say on the end of a board you know um so like i said it just gives you more versatility so the way i use this is i can take and drop this piece of wood in here and I have uh, two clamps here and I can drop this in and I've already have a mark because I just cut one a minute ago and then get to get my height the same I have two pieces of board here that equal height is I just take a piece of wood here put it flush with the top of here put it on my line tighten these clamps and then tighten these down here to hold it from rolling Okay, and then come down the other end, do the same thing. Okay, so now I got my board in there. So what I'm doing is just basically kind of full the machine that now I have, I have unlimited, well not unlimited to the floor, but I have, I could put a, two by four on the end if I wanted to in here and cut me a mortise on the end if I need to or whatever. So it kind of gives you a little more versatility. I mean, the machine doesn't know how much wood is below the table here. All you need to tell it is, hey, I want to cut here at a certain depth. And so that's why I cut a hole in front of it. Uh, it gives me more versatility. Like you said, you're kind of limited on how wide you can go, but for most ends of the board, you're probably no longer, no wider than uh, two inches. That's why I said I cut a two inch hole. That'll give me at least wide enough for a two by four. Just got to remember that uh, when you do it this way, you've got to turn your X and Y axis drawing. Okay. Um, so we're actually, this is, would be kind of the side view of it, not, not facing because up and down is over here. So you got to just remember to turn your drawing uh, to do it this way. Appreciate, appreciate you watching this little short video, but uh, that might help you out. And, uh, Give you a little more versatility to your machine, so we appreciate it.